My name is Marvin Rosenow. I'm a fisheries instructor at British Columbia Institute of Technology, BCIT, and I work as an instructor in the Fish, Wildlife and Recreation program. And so what I do is I uh, expose the students to a variety of different aspects of fisheries management in British Columbia. One of the aspects here today is learning how to spawn salmon, so the fish culture aspect of uh, catching the fish, uh, taking the eggs out, uh, collecting milt, then taking them back to the hatchery, fertilizing the eggs, doing all the disinfection stuff, and then putting the eggs into the heath trays. So essentially, uh, this is one, one part of our program. We do tagging and we learn about fisheries management, habitat, a whole suite of things. But what we like to do is have the students do a real hands-on uh, training. And so these students get out there and as you can see, or as the stuff that's happening today involves the students cooperating or collaborating with the uh, community advisor, Sandy, from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, the Seymour Salmonid Society, which we work closely with and have for a lot of years in terms of fish culture and some other uh, programs, and the Alouette River Management Society. So we're here on the Alouette River today. Yeah, basically uh, catching these fish, doing the spawning and having a learning experience. Oh, today we're taking eggs for the, uh, the Seymour and for uh, Mossum. So I'm looking for about 200,000 eggs, which is about equivalent to around 70 females. Uh, at the moment we're trying to uh, pull out uh, the male chum uh, to uh, take the milt out of them. Um, behind me is the setup where they're actually uh, get, uh, collecting the milt. So we're just uh, dip netting the males from the females in this pen, bringing them up, and then we uh, bonk them so that people can actually handle the fish without them flopping all over. And then they walk them over to uh, the station where uh, the, the milt is collected. <laughs> for the decline on the Seymour um, is that there's a dam um, on the upper end of the Seymour River that was uh, established by uh, Metro Vancouver back in the, about 1958 um, which limited access to uh, probably about 30 kilometers of um, habitat, fish hab habitat. So that's our biggest challenge, is we're trying to rebuild populations to sustainable levels um, since, since, the, since the construction of the dam. Some of our other challenges is urbanization on the lower end of the river. We see a fair amount of poaching. Um, in fact, I just was sent an email just last week uh, from a member of the public uh, that had showed a, um, a, a fairly significant pile of chum salmon on the bank and they all been cut open and their, their oh, roe was taken out of them. So somebody was, was killing the fish and, and taking all the eggs. Pretty hard on a population. Um, so that, that was, that's a pretty significant um, problem. And one of the other problems uh, is um, flow, uh, lack of flow, and that's because of the dam. Chum salmon are important because they come back in huge waves. So unlike steelhead, which come back in terms of dozens or hundreds or a few thousands, the chum salmon population example on the Alouette here, a quarter of a million fish on a, on a good sized year. Chum salmon are often known as a keystone species because an ecosystem would sort of more or less fall apart, the functioning aspects of the ecosystem along the perimeters of these salmon streams would fall apart if these big waves of chum salmon didn't come back. Mm -hmm. 